Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to my channel for another ZD Toys Iron Man figure unboxing and review video. Now today we are taking a look at their first figure in a brand new 1 5th scale line. Yes, you heard that right, I said 1 5th scale. Now I have never dabbled in this scale, but I'm pretty darn excited to get this guy out here. Now I got mine from ToysWonderland.com. A link for that is in the description below. They have 12 month installment plans and a points based reward system. While you're down there, why not hit that subscribe and bell notification icon, plus the join button for more info on Justin's Collection Plus, the channel membership. What we are going to do now though is get the box laying flat in the light box and do the unboxing. As for the box art, it kind of feels like a super sized version of their regular sized packaging. Except this time we have a big open window showcasing the figure inside. On the side of the box, Iron Man Mark III, on the back, Mark III, and an image of the figure. Now I don't exactly know how far they're going to go with this line, but at the very least I'm hoping for Marks 1 through 7. I don't know if they've just taken their smaller molds and upscaled them, but one thing's for sure, this guy is way taller than I was expecting. What we are going to do now though is get all of his accessories laid out in the light box and take a closer look at everything he comes with. Here we have all the parts and pieces and unfortunately he doesn't come with a display base. I was hoping to see one here but seeing as though this is the first figure in the lineup, it kind of sets a precedent that I don't think we're getting display bases with any future figures. We do however get a micro USB to USB A cable. This will come into play a little bit later, but I'm fairly certain you can already guess what this is for. They do also give you two missile pods that attach, not with pegs, but with magnets. You all know I love magnets in figures, so this is an absolute win. The red is painted really nicely, it's suitably metallic and glossy, and the missiles are also quite nicely done. The gold is suitably shiny, there are some silver bands, and then the tips of the missiles are black. Don't worry, we will be popping these on the figure a little bit later. Lastly, you do get a full array of hands, and they are also very nicely painted. The metallic red is suitably metallic, you've got the panel lining detail, the repulsor sections on every single palm are fully painted, and so too is the detail between each finger. What we are going to do now though is get the Mark III itself out here and take a closer look. Here we have him standing straight up and down in the light box, no crazy poses or accessories or anything like that. And pretty much all of the things that ZD Toys do consistently well with their smaller scale figures have simply been upscaled here. The paint applications are stunning. The molding is very sharp, all of the panel lines have been properly detailed. The articulation, while it's not perfect, is more than serviceable. Plus, he does have that awesome one-touch LED light-up feature. This guy is another outstanding release. He's just a lot bigger than the normal ZD Toys figures that we're used to seeing. What we are going to do now, though, is take him off the rotating turntable, punch in, and take a closer look at the details. Here we have him up close and personal, and I don't really know what ZD Toys are trying to achieve by making such a big version of the Mark III. They already have a really successful smaller scale line, why supersize it? It kind of feels like this is a proof of concept for a larger scale figure with integrated LED light up features. And we may as well discuss those first. Around the back you won't find any button cell batteries or mini switches or screws and compartments. You have some flip up flaps with a micro USB port and a button. Now if you hit said button, the arc reactor and the eyes are now illuminated. The LEDs are suitably bright, and you do have a ton of detail in the arc reactor itself. Now for me, this is absolutely the simplest, the easiest way of doing a light up feature. No messing around with those little batteries, 
I know, some people actually do like the batteries, because if they die you can simply throw them out and away you go. Whereas with a fully integrated power source, if it eventually dies after a certain number of years, you're kind of SOL, the light up feature will no longer function. For me, I'm not too worried about that, for now it works very, very nicely. Do weigh in though, down in the comments below. As for the helmet, that is very clearly the Mark III. The sculpt is super crisp, the gold is suitably metallic, and the red is absolutely stunning. You also have some silver details, and you can remove the chest plate. I'm pretty sure that's the first time we've ever got that with a ZD Toys figure. You also have some moving shoulder pads. But as you can see, there is a little bit of a gap top and bottom. Now you can extend the arms out to accentuate that gap even more, but for me, I prefer to angle the arms forward and it almost entirely hides it. You also have the removable panels that can be swapped out with some missile pods, and they are magnetic, they simply pop on and they look awesome. Don't worry, we will be doing a couple of poses with the missiles on a little bit later. As for the abdomen section, it is fully panel lined and painted in that gorgeous metallic red. Now around the back, I know you've already seen the flaps up top, but you do have some more. And they also have some grill detail underneath, fully painted in silver. Plus, there are multiple different panels. The top one, the bottom one, and then this little piece down below. And of course, that goes for both sides, so if you do want to pose this figure mid-flight, you, number one, will need a very big flight stand, and number two, you can have those flaps in action. Coming down to the legs, a ton more gold, a ton more silver in all the intricate detail work, then down here for the feet, a little bit more silver, and some grill work around the back. That's a very nice detail that is of course accurate to the Mark III. Where am I going to put this in the display? Honestly, I don't really know. But at the same time, having a single button to light up his eyes and arc reactor, it's such a neat feature. Hot Toys, I hope you're watching, cause this is how you get it done. Now for a quick side-by-side -side comparison, here we have the ZD Toys Mark III on the left and the Diecast Hot Toys version on the right. As you can see, the Hot Toys figure is significantly shorter. I was hoping, because the Mark III is slightly underscaled in the diecast line, that the ZD Toys one could step in, but unfortunately, as you can see, the size difference is far too drastic. So like I've said a couple of times, I don't really know where he's going to go. He can't go in with your 1-6 scale figures, and he's too short for quarter scale, so I'm hoping they slowly but surely build out this line so he has other figures to pose with in the display. Just going over articulation. Now bear in mind this is my personal copy of the figure, so I'm going to be a little bit more careful. I'm sure when you get yours in hand, you can push the joints slightly further than I am willing to go. Now if you've handled any of the smaller scaled ZD Toys figures, then you kind of already know what this guy can do. Starting off with the head sculpt, it does go forward and back, swivel, and a teeny amount of pivot side to side. The arms will go up to there, but they can be pulled out to extend your range of motion. Now unfortunately, the shoulder pad does still collide with his traps. They will go forward and back, butterfly joint at the shoulder that also hinges up and down. Swivel at the bicep, double bend at the elbow that gets you just past 90, and then a ball joint for the wrist peg. The torso can be extended to crunch forward and back, swivel and pivot side to side. The legs can also be extended down, going forward to there, going out to there, swivel at the upper thigh, double bend at the knee that gets you just past 90, and then a ball joint down here for the ankle, plus toe articulation. Just wrapping up on the supersized ZD Toys 1 5th scale Mark III. Going into this, it's kind of a given that I was super excited. I love ZD Toys, they have a proven track record at the smaller scale. So I was very curious to see what they could do with a much larger figure. Now in seeing that, have they delivered? 
Yes, I think they have. The proportions are great. It actually looks like a dude in a suit. The paint applications are crispy. The color separation between the gold and the red and the silver, it's all on point. You have multiple removable panels, both for the chest and for the gauntlets, plus working flaps, and the icing on the cake is the integrated light-up feature. That's something that we still, to this day, don't get with Hot Toys figures. And I'm hoping one day that's going to change, when ZD Toys can step in at a larger scale, at a cheaper price point, and still deliver that feature. That's something I'm hoping Hot Toys are keeping a very close eye on, because button cell batteries are soon to be, I'm sure, a thing of the past. I really would have liked to have seen a display base here, maybe even some blast effects, but I'm not complaining, I still absolutely love this figure. I'm hoping we get more in the line and the Mark III isn't the only suit, but it's kind of fitting that they started with him considering he's from Iron Man 1, and the Mark III was the first suit to be done in the red and gold colour scheme. He absolutely pops, unfortunately he will tower over your regular 1-6 scale figures. But on his own, he's a very nice display piece. Now I got mine from ToysWonderland.com. Link for that is in the description below. They have 12 month installment plans and a points based reward system. While you're down there, why not hit that subscribe and bell notification icon, plus the join button for more info on Justin's collection, plus the channel membership if you like the sound of seeing your name in the end credits of my reviews. Like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video.